receive reports to, for child abuse and neglect through our hotline as well as through an email. Child abuse reporting. I um, got involved with Child okay, Protective Services uh, years ago when my grandson was six months old. Uh, his mother unfortunately had gone to jail and my son, which is my grandson's father, uh, was in the service. A caseworker once assigned is then required to respond to the victim child and their siblings as well as to the entire family. So any caregivers in the home, um, including the person that is suspected to be responsible for the, the abuse and the neglect. Their, their objective is to determine any safety and risk for the family. I was a little bit biased or prejudiced against Child Protective Services. Uh, because normally my perception was this is an adversarial relationship. It's, it's like us against them. Uh, yet the person that came to our house the first time, uh, extremely professional. Uh, I would say she did not look like a caseworker or a CPS person. She looked like a, uh, she was well educated, very, very well mannered, uh, very friendly to us. And she came in not to have a confrontation with us, but to actually help us. A lot of what caseworkers will do with families is really reach out to them to see what is it that you need? What are the gaps that are going on? What is the reason that your family was brought to the attention of the department? And how can we help mitigate those issues so that it doesn't happen again? Or so that children can receive what they need or families can receive what they need to make them stronger. And that our goal is really to keep the family together as much as possible and offer as much assistance as we can to make sure that kids are safe, but that families can still Still deal with the issues on their own whenever possible. The department here has been absolutely wonderful. We've had no issues. They've been extremely friendly, extremely helpful. Caseworkers that we have in our department really believe that families need to be together and that kids deserve to be with families and they deserve to be safe as well. And so they will bend over backwards to work with a family to try and make sure that that child is safe with those parents. And if that child can't be safe with those parents, that they look for the next best thing for those kids because that's what all children deserve. That's what I would want for my child. Don't be afraid of it. Um, it was very scary for us because, you know, we had no idea what we were getting into and um, I think El Paso County has just been amazing. They can call in whenever they feel like something's not right. Um, you don't necessarily have to know that a child is being abused or neglected, but certainly you want to call if you feel like something's going on and maybe the child has the potential to be abused or neglected or that something just doesn't feel right about what's going on with this child. I think it's important that people get involved and, you know, coming from experience with what my grandson has gone through, I think more people need to get involved and if they see something that doesn't look right, I think it needs to be reported because there is a lot of abuse out there. There's no way of knowing whether or not somebody else has made a call to the department. And although one person may have only a small piece of the puzzle, if they make the call to the department, somebody else may have provided another piece of the puzzle. And those two pieces together give us a bigger picture about what's going on. If in doubt, uh, you have to give the child the benefit of the doubt. Uh, they're vulnerable. They are at the mercy of us intervening for their benefit. They need us. So if there's any doubt, it won't hurt to place a call and have somebody take a look at it. Sometimes bad decisions are made in a blink of an eye that can impact whether or not a child is safe or not safe. And we really have to think about that as a community so that we do reach out before that situation happens, as well as reach out to people in the community to say, do you need some help? I'm here to help you. If you need somebody to give you a break for a while or just to talk to, I can be that person for you. Because not everybody comes with an automatic support system or an automatic um, relief or opportunity to be able to get the training and the guidance and the comfort that they need. And it's hard being a parent. Parenting is the hardest job you will ever do. And no amount of education or training or anything will truly prepare you for it. That's why you need supports. And I think the community needs to be that support for our kids.